Hi, and welcome to Medicine, Past, Present and Future. My name's Dr. Nick, and I'm the past. And my name's Dr. Isabel, and I'm the future. And together, we're, we're the present. So today, we're going to be talking about celiac disease and gluten intolerance. Really interesting topics. Yeah, just before we talk about celiac and gluten intolerance, a bit of history. Of course, Dr. History. Nick, you always want to do the history. Yeah, the past, remember. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, this is really important, because when I was a junior doctor, celiac was a rare disease. It, we only really saw these thin, anemic, diarrheal kids. And, and they were the only ones we knew who had celiac. And then it all changed about 25, 30 years ago because we developed a blood test where we could detect celiac. Yeah, that's right. And now we know the figures are somewhere for celiac disease between uh, 1 in 80 of the general population. Yeah, it's much more common than we ever thought. I mean, I still remember my first patient who walked in and said, oh, doc, I need the blood test for celiac. And I looked at him, superior medical person, oh, you know, what do you need a blood test for? <laughs> and he said, well, my sister's been diagnosed. And I had no idea a blood test existed, but he was quite right. He should have the blood test, and he came out positive. He had no symptoms at all. So, Dr Isabel, why was it important for this man to know he had celiac when he had no symptoms. Well, so when we think of celiac disease, often what we think of is, you know, having a bit too much pasta, something like that, and feeling quite uncomfortable. That's actually not celiac disease, that's gluten intolerance. And these are very different things. The difficulty with celiac disease is it's actually an autoimmune disease. Oh, hang on, autoimmune, <laughs> getting the technical on us, come on. Sorry. Yeah. Essentially what that means is some of the cells within your own body are attacking themselves. It's like there's a mini war raging inside your gut. Okay, so what can celiac disease, the true disease, do to you? So with celiac disease, the true celiac disease, what it does is it can increase your risk of cancer. So things like bowel cancer, and for women, it can also increase your risk of infertility to pretty serious complications. So how then do we tell the difference between celiac and gluten sensitivity? Mm, exactly. So you said there's a blood test. Mm -hmm. Now, may I remind you that blood test is a screening test. It's not a diagnostic test. If you are to be diagnosed with celiac disease, we need to do it on what we call a biopsy. We actually have to take a tiny piece of your gut and look at it under a microscope. So this is when someone has the garden hose put down in their tummy and a piece taken away? That's right, we grab the hose pipe from out the back and we shove it down and then we get... No, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The gastroscopy, that's gastroscopy, what we're talking about. Exactly. Okay, so, so you cannot have celiac disease diagnosed without a gastroscopy and biopsy. Really, really important. That's right. It's also really important with these diseases to do this in conjunction with conversations with your doctor. So, for example, in order to be diagnosed with celiac disease, you actually have to have been eating gluten for six weeks beforehand. Otherwise, if you have these tests, they may come out negative because you've got none of that damage. Yeah. Really important point, isn't it, that if you avoid the gluten because it's making you feel lousy, when you have the test, it'll be negative, but that's wrong. Exactly. So you've got to be eating gluten before you test for celiac. Sounds a bit weird, but it's true. But gluten sensitivity, what does that mean? The difference between gluten intolerance and celiac disease is with gluten intolerance, you don't actually get any of that intestinal damage. Mm. And that's a whole different kettle of fish. And talking kettle of fish, that actually might not be a bad treatment <laughs> if you are gluten intolerant. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Thank you, Dr Isabel. Thank you very much, Dr Nick.